as these clouds move to the south, we have a lot more sunshine. Watch how much it melts off quite a bit over there. A blanket of clouds around creating an underwhelming sunrise for us. Maybe you've got more of a dog like Charlie who is in this Monday mood. I think everyone can relate to this. Maybe you just need a nap today. Active, cooler, and wet weather expected for this work week. And we're turning our attention from the wind today to the storms tomorrow. I'll have a look at that for you, the timing and the hazards coming up in your Storm Track 3 forecast after the break. But here's what happens when that snow melts. It releases cooler air up into the atmosphere, and that's why we're staying pretty cold today despite the sunshine. Little kid had a lot of skills. Yeah, you were commenting, great form, great form. I don't know enough <laughs> about basketball to know that, but yeah, it sounds like it. He's probably watched a lot of Steph Curry. Say hello to that Saturday sunshine. It's peeking through the clouds out there over Great Bend. Out to the west, we have a lot more sunshine expected. And in the east, those clouds slowly track off through the morning hours. I gotta get a robot. This is Just, cheating. I, and nope. Is there an app on my phone I can have make art for me? Because I want to sell some of that for $700,000. Yeah, I think they call it Microsoft Paint. Okay. It's invented a long time ago. <laughs> the, the robot art things. As we take a closer look at the system, the closer we are to those, some of those radar sites, it looks like a lot of this is staying higher in the atmosphere. So just a few sprinkles, maybe a passing shower as we head throughout the rest of the afternoon. But what most people will feel is the wind. We have a strong northerly wind on the west side of this system, gusting higher than what you see on the screen. These are the sustained miles per hour right now. So Brett, you are completely correct. Whatever comes our way is what we need to be prepared for. What we're seeing right now are some of those smaller snowflakes, but we get into some of the heavier pockets of snow and visibility is quite reduced. Take a look outside at our view right now. Now, the farther north we drive, generally the bigger these snowflakes are and what that tells us is less melting near the surface and the snow is more intact when it hits the ground. These full big snowflakes will have a better chance to stick to the roads and these full really fat snowflakes are reducing the visibility much more than those snow smaller snowflakes that we saw when we first started out. Clear skies, those clouds, you can see them barely in the distance. They're going to be a distant memory as we head into the afternoon hours and this is what we will be seeing. That sunshine and and wind is going to really help to warm us up this afternoon. If you're going out to play golf, it's going to be a great day for it. Here's your golf planner. 60 by 10 today, 69 at noon, 72 at 2, and 76 at 4. But you do have to factor in those strong winds whenever you hit your shots this afternoon because it is going to be very windy. We have gusts up to about 35 miles per hour at times. That means we do have some fire concerns out to the west. I'll break that down for you as well as that severe weather that we mentioned coming up in your Storm Track 3 forecast. We are tracking those winds today. That is making it feel a little bit warmer as well depending on where you are in the state not too bad out to the west but check out those strong winds in the east 22 miles per hour sustained in wichita 30 in salina when gusts are even stronger at 40 miles per hour at times so tie down anything that could be blowing away or honestly by now it probably has blown away because we've seen those strong winds yesterday through today and then we're going to see them overnight tonight as well and the dew points to check this out a lot more or a lot uh, more moist out to the east, but a lot drier out to the west. And that is why we are concerned with that fire weather out to the west today, down into the teens in some places because of that dry air. We have that dry line just halfway through the state now really changing our conditions out to the west and the east today. So we do have that fire weather warning highlighted in pink until 9 o'clock tonight. Refrain from any outdoor burning because these strong winds will take that fire and carry it beyond uh, controllable means. So we are watching for those fires across the state today. Now out to the east, I mentioned that dew point a little bit higher. That means we have more moisture in the atmosphere. So what we're concerned with in the eastern portion of the state is that wind. So we have a high wind advisory highlighted for all of these counties in tan that is until eight o'clock tonight now from today to tomorrow our attention turns from the winds to the storms as those temperatures warm up that's going to allow a lot more moisture into the area and as those dew points get into the 50s the 60s that means that we could have some severe weather coming our way and that is exactly what we're expecting for tomorrow we have that slight risk highlighted in yellow for hutch pratt medicine lodge wichita 
in Arc City as well down to the south that extends into Oklahoma as well as the Texas area. So this widespread system will come through tomorrow afternoon into the evening and overnight hours. This is definitely a day to stay weather aware. The biggest hazards with this include the hail risk. Hail will definitely be the biggest hazard, especially for those highlighted in yellow. But as these storms track across the state, you're going to want to watch out for them into the north as well. We can't rule out the potential for a spin up tornado either especially for those counties down to the south highlighted in green and then several up to the north as well. So let's time out this system as this dry line progresses to the east today. We have all of those strong southerly winds ahead of it. That's that is what's bringing in the moisture into our area. And then as it progresses through the overnight hours, we could see maybe a shower or two through the morning hours, maybe a few through the afternoon as well. These are going to say just in the shower form, stronger storms through the evening hours. But I want you to watch for some late later systems after your evening commute. That's whenever we're going to start to see some of those stronger storms through the Wichita area. As this cold front progresses through Wednesday, then we're going to see some strong systems behind that as well. So we have a marginal risk highlighted in this dark green area for all of those showers and storms on Wednesday. Hail will again be the biggest threat for those storms as well. Taking a look at that seven day forecast now, temperatures are still warm tomorrow ahead of that cold front, but we dip back down about 10 degrees into the 70s by Wednesday. As that cold front comes through, cooling down those temperatures and turning around those winds, also bringing some showers and storms to our area. Southwestern Kansas is a very similar story, but we're not going to see as many showers out to the west. The better chances for some stronger storms into the east, and that is where the rain will be as well. We're going to have a lot more rainfall accumulation into our eastern counties. 78 by Tuesday, 68 on Wednesday, and northwestern Kansas watch for some of those severe storms Tuesday evening. Your time right now is 12:15. We'll be right back.